Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Wednesday the 30th of November 2016. So yesterday we had uh, a potential sell signal and I say potential because uh, at 3 p.m. which is uh, this bar here we had a economic news item high impact consumer uh, confidence figures released and as I said in yesterday morning Market Alert be aware of this uh, being released you want to be out of the market so if you did take the initial trade then uh, you had the chance to actually get out with a point or at least break even before the news was actually released this is the news actually being released here and you can then see the market reversing and moving to the upside we get a buy signal at uh, 25 minutes to 4 but it took until uh, 16.45 before we actually hit the scalp and that's when I sent uh, the note out. The market then traded sideways and again this is not unusual for a Tuesday trading session. Later on in the uh, evening we had a sell signal at 5 minutes past 5 and you can see that the market is uh, fairly quiet as prices uh, have so far failed to actually uh, hit the scalp. They came close to it and uh, it took until uh, the overnight to actually go through it there. So uh, sideways at the moment uh, and you know, fairly quiet range bound. Again we've got uh, the Italian uh, sort of uh, vote on uh, the 4th which is uh, going to be uh, Sunday and also of course the market now waiting for Yellen on uh, the 14th of December and then we get uh, Trump inauguration on the 20th of January so it's uh, absolute pain frankly uh, seem to the market seems to be waiting for something all the time at the moment in the daily chart uh, we're still uh, levitating in the highs let me just uh, bring this down a bit so that we can see it so uh, you can see we've got the new all-time high there at 19167 market up yesterday no surprise there they don't want this market down just yet bonuses uh, have got to be paid Trump's got to come in and then you'll start to see uh, a bit more carnage and again this is reflected in the implied volatility down yesterday to 1103 like to see this go below 10 that would be uh, great and there's a every good chance of that uh, happening as we head uh, towards uh, the silly season uh, i.e. Christmas when things become quiet it will allow this to actually drop and then set things up nicely ready for after Christmas unless the market uh, decides to go before after Yellen is forced to increase uh, interest rates and I'll cover that tomorrow uh, with regards to uh, the yields and how a hand's going to be forced to actually increase interest rates and you'll see uh, exactly what I mean. Right, that's it uh, for today. There's not a lot else to report except I've forgotten to mention the news. So let's just go back and uh, have a look at that. Um, what have we got? Uh, oh, we got uh, the bank uh, stress tests out at 7 a.m. for the UK this morning. That shouldn't be uh, anything to uh, be concerned about here. It's more so in Europe and the US. OPEC uh, meetings today as well, another crooked cartel. Draghi's being wheeled out again, and this is what I mean about Europe. I don't know why, but this man seems to be on the news more than anybody else at the moment. Um, so another day of Draghi, that's at 12.30. And then we've got the non-farm employment change. And speaking of non-farm roll figures, we've got those on Friday as well. So that will be really interesting to see what uh, they come out at, because that's certainly going to... Uh, uh, put the nail in the coffin for Yellen if they come out uh, better than forecasts you will have no choice other than to uh, increase interest rates so we've got crude oil inventories today usual one at 3 30 p.m don't be in the market for that one and uh, then Powell is being wheeled out as well as um, uh, German president uh, Wiedemann is speaking as well and I take it that's uh, he's a, another central banker of some description or whatever unless he is just a political president but there you go I don't know on that one but that's at 4 p.m. seems to be a lot of uh, noises coming out of Europe at the moment probably in, in part to um, the vote on Sunday as well just uh, it's like a, it isn't actually a Brexit thing it's a bizarre thing it's to do with the Constitution but I think it's being turned into that so uh, again I don't know the full details on that we'll just see what happens when it comes out 
and how the market reacts on Monday. Right, that's it uh, for today. I will uh, let you have a note if I see anything uh, that needs reporting. Other than that, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.